This is not what we've been expecting. Hi, we are Sarah and Igor. We quit our jobs and sold everything we had to fulfill our biggest dream, to travel the world full time. Our first stop in Vietnam was Ho Chi Minh City, which showed us the side of the country we definitely didn't expect. Hi everyone and welcome to Vietnam, where we're gonna spend the whole month. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and give a like to help the algorithm. For now, we are in Ho Chi Minh, which is the biggest, the loudest, the most crazy town here in Vietnam. And for the next couple of days, we're gonna explore this place. Because our Vietnam trip just started and we're gonna stay here for about a month, of course we need a SIM card to stay connected with you guys. We have our SIM cards. And before we bought this one, we checked a few providers and this one, Vinaphone, is the best one. We got 6 gigabytes per day for a whole month and we paid only $18. And this experience was quite fun because usually they take a passport, they take a picture of your passport, they take a picture of you, but this time they even connect via a video call with some guy and they had to show us. So it was quite strange, but at the end of the day, we've got our cards, so we are happy. For lunch, we came to Veggie Saigon, which is a little bit outside from the city center, but I hope it's worth the travel because we're gonna try for the first time today pan mi which is like typical uh, sandwich here in vietnam and i got mine with mushrooms and igor got his with veggie ham so let me take a bite it's really crispy from outside a lot of mushrooms some onion okay first bite I'm so excited. I'm not sure about the taste. I mean, it's not bad, but I never had that kind of sauce with mushrooms. So maybe I just have to get used to it. But for sure, once you're going to be here in Vietnam, you need to try banh mi. My sandwich is with kind of veggie ham. That's how they call it. it looks a little bit different than ham. And I'm really curious if it will taste like ham. I mean, even when I was eating meat, I didn't eat so much pork. So let's try it out. If I still remember how it tastes and if it comes close to the original taste. I mean, it's good, but it doesn't have to do anything with ham. <laughs> Oh my god guys, this is not what we've been expecting when we were thinking about Ho Chi Minh. It is crazy here. First of all, it's a lot of scooters, a lot of stalls with food, a lot of people. And you've got those really, really expensive shops like Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Dior. And the next street is really cheap with cheap food which you can even eat for two people for like six dollars. So it's crazy here but so far we absolutely love it. For a good start into a new day we came to a restaurant called Tea and Vegetarian and it looks incredibly beautiful. The food is also looking really tasty so I ordered like omelette with tofu with rice and Sarah has some traditional soup but also a little bit more about the whole design here from our interior chef designer Sarah. Put me on a deep water I'm not that good with describing things but uh, I think this restaurant is really modern really nice designed with the beautiful gray walls some bamboo food also the plates the cutlery everything here it's absolutely beautiful and well thought too until you travel asia you would never believe that you would cross a street which is so busy like this one there are so many motorcycles and if you don't just start you will never make it to the other side of the street Ha <laughs> ha
we survived. So basically the system is you just walk and hope that no one is in a mood to kill you because so they just will drive around you, they will pass you and that's how you get to the other side of the street. If you are waiting till someone will stop so you can cross the street, you will never make it, believe me. We never had this. Maybe only like once out of thousand times someone stopped for us to cross the street. So it's really a part of Asia which we really don't like so much. Here at this ferry terminal you can enjoy a beautiful view on some skyscrapers and unfortunately also floating garbage along the river. Normally if it's tight like this it means I should go here. Ah, I still can get something more to eat today. This place reminds us of New York and Manhattan. You've got bridge, pass on, and you also got the tallest building here in country, which is called Landmark 81. But this time I'm not gonna cry like I did in New York. Did you know that these really specific looking buildings are like restaurants and shops? So you have some restaurants and some nail cosmetic studio. It's quite interesting and it looks so special. When we were planning Vietnam, of course, we did some research, but we didn't check like how every place looks in each corner. And once we arrived here in Ho Chi Minh, or so-called Saigon, we were super positively surprised how well developed, how modern, how all the buildings look. It's really like a big city somewhere in the middle of Europe or like in the States. We really didn't expect that and are super positively surprised how everything looks and we feel so well here. I'm gonna try green tea made in Vietnam. You know I like to try different drinks in different countries so... Oh, it smells really nice. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you regret it. Okay, let me try. Oh my god, this is so sweet! This is the one you regret it or? It's okay, but it's really sweet. I, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting it's gonna be sweet, but this is really sweet. Asian people really like sugar, sweet drinks. Oh, a lot of sugar. This statue right behind me is the statue of the leader Ho Chi Minh who fought for the independence back in 1945 and to honor him in 1975 they renamed Saigon to Ho Chi Minh. Back in 1877 France colonized Vietnam that's why till this day you see a lot of French influence around especially in the architecture. The local opera house is also built in this typical French style and right next to it is the Hotel Saigon and I would say also very influenced by the French architecture. Well guys, this is not what we were thinking of when we thought about Vietnam. We were thinking more about the traditional way, you know, with the hearts, with the right skills. But here in the middle of Portugal, we got like a good party vibe. I think Vietnamese people know how to party. Sarah had today already her Manhattan Brooklyn Bridge moment here. And now I'm definitely getting into some New York vibes because this place reminds me a lot of Times Square in New York. Don't you think it's similar with all the lights, the billboards? This is it guys, we hope you like Ho Chi Minh or Saigon as we did. And don't forget to share some love with us with a subscription and a like. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.